Hey gang, it's time for the video of the day. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome. I am setting, excuse me, let's try that again. I am setting at the uh, Centerville Walmart. I got here last night. I got here, they don't open till 4. I got here just before 4 o'clock, like maybe 5 minutes to 4 this morning. And they're what we refer to at our terminal, we refer to them as a 4 to 7 store. Because that's the times when you can unload from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. <laughs> and uh, I get here, and at 3.59, I grab my headset, put my headset on, and call. That way, when they walk in the door at 4 o'clock, the phone's ringing. They pick it up. they got to go into the office, so they're going to pick up the phone, right? No answer. I hang up, call back. Hang up, call back. Hang up, call back. Did that for a half an hour. Called back to the terminal. Told them, hey, you know, they're supposed to open at 4 o'clock. It's 4.30. I can't get anybody to the phone. And I had gotten out of the truck, and I walked across the back of the building so I could see out front here. And the employees park on the other side, which is where I was at. And I seen two or three cars sitting there with their headlights on. Smoke coming out of the... I mean, it's 9 degrees outside. And the exhaust coming out of their tailpipes. So I knew that they were still sitting in their car. Here it was 4.30. Should they be inside? I don't. So I went back to my truck. Finally, about 4.45, somebody answers the phone. And they, you know, I tell them, you know, hey, I, you know, get your meat and produce to the back door. And she's like, we just got in here. It's going to be a couple minutes. Okay. This happened before at this store. And the manager apparently didn't show up on time. <coughs> it was nine degrees, as I said before. I was not going to get out there and stand at that back door at nine degree, in nine degree weather. Um, last week, I got sick. Now, I didn't get sick like I am right now. I got, I got achy sick. And what I mean was every joint might to do this hurt. I mean, it, did, it wasn't like, ah, you know, that it was just like, it, it just hurt to move. I couldn't, I couldn't move my arms. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't do this. It hurt. I couldn't hardly walk because my knees and my hips and my ankles all hurt. And, uh, one of the guys at, at one of the stores, his name was Jim. He goes, he goes, what's wrong with you? And I said, I don't feel good. Why? He's like, you're walking funny. <laughs> That's why I'm walking funny. But uh, I managed to get back to the yard and get some sleep. And I I slept quite a bit the last the couple days and I was, wasn't feeling good. And I finally <coughs> got up and I was feeling all right. Well, then yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, it started to hit me again. And it, it, it's not full-blown right now. Because I'm taking some medication to try and keep it at bay, and of course I'm drinking a lot. I've got, I've got my bottled water, and of course my favorite, Milo's. Um, and I, I've been drinking that down. Uh, I had some Hall's cough drops, and then I, I went in and bought these today. And uh, what, what's really bad is with this, I've been sneezing a lot. And it hurts to sneeze. I don't know if it's the way I sleep or what, but right here, right here on the back of my neck, right where my neck and my shoulder come together, it just aches. Okay? To the point where that hurts. Okay? I can do it this way. Okay? And I can get my hand back here, and it's still, I can feel it right here. So, I went inside. When I bought my cough drops and got some icy hot. Guess what? It's on the back. I can't put it on. I can't figure out how to get back there to put it on. So, <laughs> obviously, that ain't gonna work. Now, some of you might say, "Well, Greg, how do you know it's how do you know it's you know the icy hot's gonna help?" 
Well, I've had it for a couple weeks. It's been bothering me for a couple weeks. And I got in a hot shower, and I, I've been picking the right times to take a shower at the terminal because I've been getting really hot water. And I basically turned the hot water all the way up, put it on there, and I had no problems doing whatever I needed to do. It didn't hurt anymore. And uh, so I know if I use that, it'll help relax. It'll, it, you know, it'll feel better. Problem is, I don't have any way of putting it on. I think I said this in one of my videos a long time ago. They need to come up with a way that you can put the icy hot cream on yourself. Now, I've seen the head spray. They had icy hot spray. Okay. This, this was almost $5. Okay. The icy hot spray was almost 8 And the icy hot spray, you can see this. You can see it. it, it, it maybe you can see it. Okay. Well, maybe you can't. It's too blurry. It's three ounces. Okay? This is three ounces. The Icy Hot Spray was two and a half. And it was two dollars more. I can see trying to spray back there. I can't even move my arm back there as it is. But I'd spray it. I'd have it all up in my hair, my ear, and over here on my arm. And, you know, Dumbledore would get all high over here on my shoulder. <laughs> He'd be, using, he'd be using his wand to get rid of that stuff. But I wish he'd use his wand to take care of the, Anyway. But uh, it's, just, it's getting annoying. And I know uh, a friend of mine, um, he was sick last week for his day off. He was at home coughing up a lung. And a lot of it has to do with the fact, like, like I was talking about at the beginning of the video, standing out in the cold waiting for them to come open the door. Because a lot of times when they do answer the phone, They'll say, okay, I'll get somebody right out there, or all right, I'll be there in a couple minutes, or all right, I'll let management know, and you give them five minutes, and you walk back there, and they're still not there. Now, last night, when they finally did answer the phone, I gave them about five minutes. Actually, I gave them about, I was going to give them five minutes. I gave them a few minutes, and I looked in my mirror, and I seen there was a light back there. So I'm thinking, the door must be open. So I got out and went back, and sure enough, the door was open. That is very rare. With it being that cold, they would open the door and leave it open. It's very rare. So usually you're standing outside in the cold, ringing the bell saying, hey, I'm out here. <coughs> and that would really make you mad. This, this, really, this really ticks me off. You're standing out in the cold. They open the door. They let you in. You look at the dock. And they've got the dock door open already. Wait a minute. You took the time to open that door. Instead of coming out and letting me in. So now I'm out here freezing. Now they say you can't catch a cold being in the cold. And that's true. But being in the cold does make your body more susceptible to the bacteria and viruses that can get in. Okay. And um, I'm, not, I'm not a doctor. But I, I did that through some research. Um. So, anyway, standing out in the cold like that is just making us sick. And I know I've heard a lot of other drivers complaining about it. Um, I heard one driver say that he keeps an umbrella in his truck. So, um, with the umbrella that he keeps in his truck, he takes it with him if it's raining. So he doesn't have to stand in the rain. But it's still a point we shouldn't have to stand in there. One of the, one of the signs, they have a sign at some of the stores that, that tell you, you know, how you're supposed to unload the grocery truck, how you're supposed to unload the GM truck. We have 45 minutes. We're a grocery truck. We have 45 minutes. We have 45 minutes to get us unloaded. The first thing on the list, greet the driver. Here's the key word, promptly. That, that means get to the door and let the driver in. It doesn't mean let the driver stand at the door for 20 minutes while you guys are busy arguing over who's going to unload the truck. I know they, they, I get in there and they call, you know, Cap One Associates, come help with the grocery truck, and, 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 and it takes them forever to get there. I don't know what it is about unloading the truck, but nobody likes to do it. Okay? Nine chances out of ten, the person that's actually unloading the truck is doing it with an electric jack. They're setting them on the floor. All you got to do is come with a hand jack, check the pallet up, take it to the cooler, or take it to the, the meat 
meat cooler or the grocery store, dairy or whatever. I don't understand it. But hopefully, something will get done about it pretty soon. Because I'm tired of being sick. I was sick in October when I went home. Um, in November, I went home. My wife was sick. Of course, December was Christmas. And now here, I'm going home again in January. And I'm sick again. I'm going home in like, what? Four days. Well, three days. Three or four days. I'm going to be going home. And I'm sick and I'm hoping and praying to God that I don't make my wife sick and I don't make my daughter sick because they're both in school, just got started with their classes. They don't need to be sick and missing classes. And they don't need to be getting sick and going to class and, and making other people sick. I hate being sick. <laughs> All right, gang, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and get it put on for you. I've babbled on for 11 minutes now. So, um... Anyway, remember, like, comment, share this video. Let everybody know that Greg the Crazy Trucker is out here and he is creating havoc wherever he goes. Until next time, this is your host of the video of the day, the aforementioned Greg the Crazy Trucker saying, see ya!